Hey guys, what's up? I'm just doing a quick um, StreamYard update for you guys to uh, just go over some stuff real quick. Um, I know I haven't been keeping y'all updated. I've just been doing little quick shorts when I get a chance. Uh, a lot of stuff been going on around here for my my personal life. Um, and uh, so um, with my garden, it's, it's time to lay it to bed for the year. So if I get a weekend where it's not raining, I'm going to be going out there and um, gathering whatever I have left uh, and then go ahead and getting stuff, um, rotating the mulch pile and then getting stuff onto the mulch pile. Um, Got to do the back. The fig tree actually has new figs on it, but they're not going to probably, unless we have a warmer winter, they're probably not going to make it to, to harvest. Uh, and um, so, the, and we got to do a, a harsh pruning on the fig tree because it grew a lot. So we got to clean up the backyard, prune the figs. I got to bring in my, I got to repot my aloe vera and bring it in for the winter. And, um, and this mostly what I got to do, just taking stuff down out the garden and putting it back in the shed and with the garage, um, the mulch pile. And then we have garlic that should be ready for next year. And I have some more garlic that I need to plant. Um, and I need, I'm going to be expanding the size of the garden on that side since it's, it gets the most sunlight and the fig tree is shading out the other side of the garden in the backyard. So we decided to put um, just fruit trees back there. So it'll be the fig tree, the apple tree. We have a pear tree up front. We're going to put, um, probably get another apple tree or a peach tree and a plum tree to put in the back. And this, those will just be like our little fruit garden area um, back there, right directly behind the house where the rosemary bush is at and stuff like that. Uh, so the side yard on the left is going to become the, the garden area. Uh, I'll still be putting like a few herbs and stuff back there. And I got potatoes back there. I got to dig up if they're still back there. You never know. <laughs> With all that rain, we've been getting them out of right in the ground. And and I got sweet potatoes. I got to check and see if I got any sweet potatoes in the buckets I had the sweet potatoes in. So that's the main thing going on with the garden. Um once I get everything cleaned up, I might do some short videos while I'm, you know, breaking stuff down and cleaning stuff up. That's just normal for me, normal stuff, getting the garden laid, laid to bed, so to speak, um, and getting it ready for next year. Um, Crochet-wise, I went through a bunch of my finished items and anything that I hadn't woven the ends in on, I wove in the ends for it. Um, I've been taking... Um, this little bag with me to work and I've been either crocheting using crochet cotton uh, either crocheting dishcloths or knitting dishcloths so I've made several dishcloths and they're just the basic grandma's favorite dishcloth because um, that doesn't require any thought and um, and then I also take my drop spindle and I'm working with some fiber that you know you guys have seen it before that me and my husband died. So I'm still working on that braid of fiber. I don't get a chance to spin with my spinning wheel as much because my grandkids are over here a lot and I don't want to risk um, them trying to touch it. Um, this, the Spin Illusion B is a very high speed um, spinning wheel. I do not want to risk my grandchildren breaking or losing a finger trying to touch that flyer when it's moving. So I just don't spin when they're over here on the wheels. I use my drop spindles um, because they're safer. They can grab the drop spindle and run with it. It ain't going to hurt nobody. Um, whereas if they try to touch that spinning wheel, it could break their hand or break their fingers or even <laughs> remove a finger. I'm not going to risk them, um, even though spinning brings me so much joy. I would rather just spin in other ways and do other projects. I'm on my lunch break right now, so that's why I'm trying to get this done. Because if I don't do it now, it ain't going to get done. Because if you can see my eyes, I am tired. Uh, I've been, I have bouts of insomnia that is brought about by anxiety and stuff. And so I've been waking up a lot um, at night. I'm not getting like a full night's sleep. I'm waking a lot uh, the last several weeks. And um, so I get my sleep when I can. Um, 
So right now I'm going to show you guys what I'm working on. I did a little short video of it, but this is some Nordley's yarn. It's uh, called Viking by, of Norway. It's a Norwegian yarn that I get from my local yarn shop. Um, it used to be $14 a skein. I don't know if it's still $14 a skein, but you get a lot. It's a single. It's a, a single, and you get a lot of yarn. Um so it's 385 yards is what it says up here. I actually think there's more than 385 yards in these games. Um, I think it's probably closer to maybe 420 or 430, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so two skeins, so far two skeins I used and I knit this scarf. I mean, I crocheted this scarf using the bush stitch. I have a tutorial on my channel. So I, I did this scarf for my brother from another mother in these fall colors. And I was very, very happy with the way it turned out. And as you can see, this yarn is very stretchy. It's a super wash wool. It'll soften with age. Um, for me, it's next to skin soft. Someone that's really sensitive, they might think it's more prickly. It has a little slight halo to it because it is a single. But it crocheted up beautifully, as you can see. I didn't have to deal with any splitting or anything. Um, but with knitting, because of the way I knit, I'm having to deal with a little bit of um, having to make sure I'm not splitting the yarn because of the way I hold the yarn. It kind of takes the twist out a little bit because it's not, it does it. It's a very low twist single. I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you just turn it this way. It's pretty much, I could pull it apart. It's, the, it's a very low twist single. Um, so you have to be careful with it when you're knitting it. It did okay because of the way I crochet, but um, the way the twist is when I crochet. But for knitting, is I have to be careful. But now um, this is what's left of the, probably from here. Let me see if I can see on the inside where I joined it at. Okay, so this is where I joined the third skein I have of this yarn so that's how far I got with what was left of the second skein with this hat and I can't because of this it's just a 16 inch needle so I can't spread the head out all the way but as you can see the, the yarn is quite stretchy so it'll fit him fine I probably have about another inch to go because it is so stretchy I don't want it to be too long but um I want it to have a nice long um this is a like an inch and a half right now. So I want to have like a maybe a three inch rib brim on it. So he'll, he'll be able to flip it up if it's a little too long. But I wanted to be able for him to have word across his ears because he lives in West Virginia and it gets cold there. Uh, so so this is his his scarf and that's the matching hat. Um, if I'd have just if I'd have crocheted the hat, I'd have been the <laughs> so so that's um, what I'm working on right now. After I finished that, I was looking over at the Drops website. Um, that's somewhere where I get uh, free patterns from as well. But I was looking at the Drops website, and I saw a um, circle cardigan over there that I might be interested in. Um, and um, I don't know. Let's see if it let me screen share with y'all. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. You see, I haven't been using my thing that much. Oh, here we go. Okay. So let's see. But there are some nice cardigans over on the Drops website. They're free. And um, so this is the cardigan. It's a crochet cardigan. It's, it's a circle cardigan um, that I was looking at. And um, that's just some of the ones like, 
that I was looking at over there. That one's real pretty. Hopefully y'all can see all this stuff since I'm flipping screens, but and like this is a knit cardigan. Then I it's uh this is a XXL. No buttons. So this I, this looks like it would be an easy project. So that's one I'm really interested in. And um this is another um bottom up moss stitch cardigan, a long one. So it's nice patterns over there. Um I don't know if you guys saw it in that, so hopefully you did. Let me see if I can get back to okay. I hope you saw me flipping through the screens. Maybe not. I don't even think you saw it. <laughs> but um let's see. It's been a while, y'all. Y'all know it's been a while. Let's see. All right, view this tab. There we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so so this is one of the um cardigans and there's another one this is the we find the hush one the one i'm really interested in there we go so share this tab instead there this cardigan is the one that i'm really interested in um trying i still i started the grandpa cardigan but I just lost interest in it. I'm gonna pick it back up because I want it's from uh, the grandpa cardigan was from Hohe Locatelli, and so that's one of the ones I wanted to do as well. All right, so I gotta start winding down on this. But uh, art wise, I'll show y'all. I was just doodling because the kids were in here playing. All right, let me stop screen sharing. So I was in here doodling one day. Because the kids are here playing, and I was playing around with the watercolors, so that's uh, <laughs> what I doodled. So that's what I did art wise. I haven't been doing a lot of my art because Chunk Chunk, which is what I call my youngest grandchild, she likes to snatch stuff from you. And so, yeah, she uh, she's always just snatching stuff. So I I just have this this small watercolor paper. And so I just doodle and just do little things that I can do when she's here. And that's pretty much it. Um, I have some of my, I got some of the orange yarn down because it's time for me to start making my little sister. Her birthday is October 30th. So it's time for me to start making her, her birthday present. So, so I'm gonna let y'all go. I hope y'all have a good day. Um, and I just want all y'all to know that if you suffer from anxiety or depression or any, or even if you don't think you suffer from anything, but you just need somebody to talk to, check with your doctor and your, your, um, your local community. There are free services available. There are free hotlines that you can call to talk to people. Just check with your, your local people. If just, if you just need to, to, to get stuff off your chest, um, because, you know, there, the people have stigmas attached to people going to therapy and all this other stuff. But if you got a problem with people going to therapy, then, then you have a problem <laughs> with you. Um, it, the purpose of therapy is to help people through deal with emotional issues. And I'm, I'm going to get off because I'll start crying. Um, Y'all know that. I'm, I, everybody always told me I was too soft hearted. That I'm soft hearted, but I always try to put this front up and I'm this, you know, this, this mean, hard person. That I don't take, I don't take no junk. So I always had that look about me. Um, people just assumed that because I wasn't smiling and all up in your face and all this other stuff that I was mean, but I don't put up with bull crap, but more, more, more likely I'm a personal person. So, so I'm still dealing with some grief issues. Um, and some other issues and uh and that's what therapy is for to help you develop coping mechanisms and help you work your way through grief um everybody goes through it but everybody does it in their their own way in their own time so what someone else might be able to get over in a few weeks 
might take somebody else years to deal with. So I'm going to let y'all go and y'all take care.